at 6.10 in the morning. Been hiking for almost an hour. Plan was to get up at 4.30 and then and then try to be on trail by 5. And 4.30 came, <laughs> as always. It's tough getting up that early. Um, I kind of lied there for about 15 minutes. Told myself, okay, 5 o'clock. And then around 4.45, I was like, I'm getting up. Packed everything up. And then it was on trail uh, by 5.15. Um, just like always, it's this trail is kind of hard to find. It's not marked all that well. You think you go in one way and then you go another. But back on trail now, I'm kind of in lots of lava rocks. And then that peak right in front of me kind of looks like a volcano. Uh, yeah, the sun is almost up. Here's where I've come from. But it's been a flat hiking and again just staying on trail. I had my headlamp on for a good 30 minutes and then about 5.45 I was able to turn it off. So I should be coming up to a water tank, get some water. I don't need a whole lot to get me to the next water cache and that should get me to Lordsburg. I think about 16 miles, maybe just a little under 16 from Lordsburg. So the plan is to get there just a little after lunchtime. Well, it's just a little before 8. Uh, I've been on the trail since 5 o'clock. So I've been hiking for the most part for 30 hours. I did have like 20 minute break to fill up the water, the water tank. And then another 10 or so minutes um, getting through under a bob wire and using the bathroom. And up until in the last 10 minutes, it's been like it has been finding the trail, losing the trail, but still going in the general direction. Then I've gone onto this dirt road heading um, north so I'm not sure where I'm going if I were to guess just based off how the trail's been I'm going around stuff like this so I'll probably head somewhere over there my guess but who knows I might send us I might send me in between those two little peaks right there. Uh, looking to get into Lordsburg prior to 1 p.m. today. Uh, and I got about another four and a half to five miles to the water cache. And then from there it's oh, I think a little over two hours. But it's been a good morning hike so far, and we're ready to get to town. A little less than seven miles to town, out to the middle of town. Um, the last couple miles up to the water cache had been on some uh, gravel roads and made it for easy hiking. Again, there were a lot of cows out so try to avoid them whenever I could. It's been a good hike so far. I'm ready to get into town and get some real food and then hopefully get a shower and uh, do laundry. So I'm sure once I get over this little ridge here I should be able to see uh, work. Well, I left town, uh, shoot, it's been an hour and a half. Um, it's been a road walk. 
for most of that time. And in the last half mile, uh, I've been walking on this and I'm just heading straight this way. No real trail, no markers. Uh, I think I see one way off in the distance, but I just now got to head this way. And my guess is I'm going around these mountains. I don't think I'm going over them. I don't remember seeing any kind of big climbs or anything like that on my map. So I'm about three-fourths of a mile. I should be coming up to a fence, which I'm probably going to have to go under. That's how I had to get onto this part. I probably have less than three miles left today. And to be honest, I don't know what my water situation is this next 22 miles. There might be one up here in three miles, but funny thing is it's not labeled as a water source on the on the gut, gut hooks map, but there's a comment at the road crossing that there's a windmill with water. So I left town with about five liters. And so hopefully there's some and there might be some elsewhere.